Hi folks, my name is Ryan Guy and I'm the Director of Forensics at Modesto Junior College and I'm excited to be here and welcome you all to the first ever Northern California Forensics Association Asynchronous Tournament. Tonight in this short video I just want to walk you through a couple basic things about the tournament that will hopefully answer some of the questions you have. So today we're going to go over a little bit of the timeline for the tournament and then get into a couple logistical things. So first let's start the timeline. The tournament will officially open tomorrow, which is Sunday, October 11th at 12.01 a.m. This means a couple of things. First off, our site is going to be totally live, which will include both a place to upload pre-recorded videos, as well as a place for those of you that are doing Extemp Impromptu to be able to access those topics. We'll get into a little bit of that in the logistics section. For the next 72 hours until Tuesday at 11.59 p.m., students are going to be able to go ahead and either send videos to their coaches or directly directly upload videos to the tournament site. Again, when we get to logistics, I'll talk about how that works. However, on Tuesday at 11.59 p.m., the submission link is going to shut down and no more videos will be able to be accepted. So you wanna make sure over that roughly 72 hour period, any videos that you plan to submit for your events do get turned in. This will then give us some time to go ahead and take those videos, get them uploaded as unlisted YouTube videos and sent out to our judging panels. Our game plan is to have the ballots, e-ballots sent out to the judges by the 8th which is going to be Sunday and that'll allow the judges to have access to both their e-ballots and the playlist to be able to watch and evaluate those events just as if they were at a synchronous tournament. We'll give them a few days to go ahead and complete that. However, on Friday, October 23rd at noon, all ballots will be due. So obviously important that you make sure that your judges are being prompt and getting those turn uh, turn in so that we don't have to hire out any uncovered ballots at the last uh, at the last minute. Our game plan is to host awards the week of October 25th. Again, we need a little bit of time once the tournament is done to make sure that we've got everything tallied and wrapped, and we'll send out a link to you all with a few days notice so that you know when to tune into our YouTube live stream for the award ceremony. All right, well, that wraps up the basic timeline. Let's talk about a couple logistical things. So in terms of logistics, there's a couple things to understand. First, impromptu and extemp are obviously going to be a little bit different in an asynchronous tournament. So let's talk about that first. Again, tomorrow night when the tournament uh, tournament opens at 12.01 a.m., what will happen is 20 impromptu and 20 extemp topics will be posted on our tournament website. Student competitors will then be able to access those, and for the event that they are competing in, whether it's impromptu, extemp, or both, they'll want to choose one of those topics and go ahead and prep out a speech just like they were at a real, uh, real tournament. We get that it's not completely the same, but we felt that this was the best way to go ahead and simulate the impromptu and extemp limited preparation environment. So you try to adhere to as much as it would be like as a real tournament as possible. Once the video is prepped and the student has recorded it, then it can go ahead and be uploaded. Again, we're kind of leaving this to coach discretion. What most coaches should probably do is have students send them files so that they can watch them first and then upload them. But again, we will trust you to come up with whatever system works best for your squads. All right, so that's impromptu and extemp. Let's talk a little bit about the video submission process in general. From our website, you can see that there's a main button that allows you to go into the submit video section. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that there is a link for every school that is entered in the tournament. All you have to do is click on that link and that will take you to a Dropbox website that looks just like this one. And from there, you can go ahead and submit individual video files. Now, keep in mind that we do provide a naming schema to help keep things organized. And it's important to try to adhere to the schema so that your files don't get miscategorized or missed. So again, make sure that you are putting the files named appropriately before you upload them because you won't be able to rename them once they are submitted. We can accept a variety of file types. I would say for keeping file types reasonably small, the .mp4 file type is ideal. However, if you've got the bandwidth, we can, uh, we, we've got the capacity and we can accept things like .move files or other files that your devices or cameras may record. 
All right, well, that wraps up the logistics of our tournament. Now, do keep in mind that by, on the last day of submissions, which is this coming Tuesday at 11.59 p.m., you need to make sure that your videos are finished uploading prior to that because as soon as the clock strikes Wednesday at 12 o'clock a.m., the submission site will shut down and those Dropbox links will no longer accept videos. So you need to make sure that they've finished uploading before the end of the, uh, the submission period. All right, well, that about wraps everything up. I'm really excited for this tournament. The staff has been working really hard to try to provide you all the best possible experience. If at any time there is an issue or you need help, please go ahead and reach out to us. We've set up a help email line, which is help at norcalforensics.com. Again, help at norcalforensics.com. You can email there and you'll be able to get a hold of somebody on staff. I'm also gonna send out my cell phone number to all of the coaches for teams registered at this tournament so that if there's an emergency, y'all have a way to get in contact with me. Well, again, on behalf of the entire Northern California Forensics Association, we are excited for our asynchronous tournament and we'll see y'all online.